hello everybody. We are going to begin our journeys here in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I know it's been like five billion years since I streamed because brain mostly just trying to like I'm going to stream today and then once the designated stream time comes around brain was like no don't actually stream yeah don't know how to get around that but I battered my brain into submission for today and I decided hey let's try a game that is potentially a little bit nicer a little bit easier then easier in the sense of brain allowing it to be streamed. Hibbly jibbly, who knows. But yes, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. Primarily that it's that uh, Star Wars game that kind of kicked EA in the teeth where they're like, oh, but nobody wants to play single player games anymore because then how else will we microtransaction people to death? And then this game did absurdly well and they had to face the music of, hey, good single-player games equal uh, good single-player games. But aside from being like a kind of hack-and-slash Star Wars-y game, I don't know much about it. I don't know the story. I don't know the characters beyond the boy and his robot. Don't know how they get like a, a lightsaber and go on their journey, but we will see, I guess. But let's get on with the start. Oh, interesting. So this actually tells you what is affected. Parry timing, incoming damage, and enemy aggression. I'll go with Jedi Knight, because I don't know how the game plays. And plus, if it is too difficult, then Brain would be like, Ah, but it's difficult, so you probably shouldn't, like, uh, stream the game anymore, because Brain is an asshole. Brain is a jerk. Brain is a country bumpkin who needs to be thrown off a cliff. Also, apparently this is getting a sequel like this year. Classic Star Wars opening. A little too fast to be the true classic Star Wars opening, but definitely an homage of, ah, we look up and ship passes over. Classic TIE Fighter. Sound effects. <laughs> okay. Uh, throat singing? Did not expect that. Interesting. I assume that's our main character. Listen, <laughs> oh, we were listening rhythm, to Cal, it. But the boss wants a word. Oh no, no, uh, no subtitles. It's be good for us. I thought I set up chief. those. Darn. And I can't press the pause button because I could just skip it. An error has been detected on line 10A. All our clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. Ah, so That's this will be a tutorial, I guess. The Cal will double your pay for this shift. Fine, Cal. What's her score? That couldn't hurt. Huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Get to work. So, yeah, this will probably instantly go That's in. Right. Instant pause, because settings, please. Because I know I freaking put on... I honestly don't know why... Diddly D. Also, I put you on full full screen. That usually works better for me. Is there no? Why are there no, my beloved Diddly D? What is it called? Subtitles. Subtitles should just like be on. Ah, subtitles. Why is it under gameplay? Subtitles. Gameplay! 
usually subtitles happen outside of gameplay. You think it would be under visuals or video or audio? Anything but gameplay. What next? We're gonna put subtitles under controls? Maniacs. <laughs> Why is it under gameplay? Is there no standardized placement for this? Ah, that bothers me so much. Right behind you. Oh, and I guess also. Because there is a bit of stuttering. A bit of stuttering. We'll set things a little lower. And I guess... Because yeah. there's just a little bit. Okay, alien language. And I also see a little bit of that, so da -da -da -da. so we should probably put, yeah. For some reason, max FPS I thought was there. My brain is just aflame. It is very angry that I dare stream. Sorry, Cal. Don't worry about it. I almost died because of you. I will remember this. I don't think these tools are going to make it through the shift. Uh, Up here. After you, kid. Prop. That is that guy's name. Prowl? Baraka, shipbreaking yeah, yard. Look at that. A separatist ship. I haven't seen a Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. A separatist from the Clone ages. Wars? Breaking her will be big money. Oh, yeah, it's a All droid right. ship. Let's go. Like a droid mother control ship. Definitely has a Star Wars-y feel. Look out! Hands up! Oh no, it's Donkey Kong! Those are heavy. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Ladder's out, though. So I guess I'll slide down. Gonna have to find another way. Yeah, no problem. I'll improvise. See you there, pal. Ah, Tony Hawk Star <laughs> Star Wars. This barge immediately. Okay, very stuttery for some reason. Jesus. Why? This is why more games like that's one thing I don't understand why. Game's like, no, we did, we're not going to give you a way to test out your... You are not approved trash. Diddly D. And trash? She's not approved trash. <laughs> we're not approved trash. Ah, oh, we, we can dodge. Creepy evil monster droid. Oh, got uh, rope. Nope, uh, all the way up. I didn't realize there was a rope. It's almost like we have Jedi reflexes already. I don't know what you're saying. If you even are saying anything. Easy there. Just passing through. Uh. Ah, left trigger. Finishing ahead of schedule. I can just about taste the credits. It'll be a wild night tonight. Let's get this job done. Right. Ah, that's how that works. You need to double tap. I was gonna say. Good to see you. You too. Don't get yourself killed. I feel like I've that's heard that idea. voice before. That lady saying, "Don't get yourself killed." And again, it's the voice acting industry. There's probably like five people that do all voices ever. Sounds like scrap rats. Creepy. Is that anything like through, Transformer scrap no come out and say hi this time. I wonder if it's possible to die in this segment, probably by falling. 
Hey, hey Prof. Cal, I'll meet you at the claps. Don't Sounds take all the job. Oh, it's supposed to be a drop down. Nope. Yeah. Grab. The droids are being droidy. Destroying my ability to climb. How'd you get here? Not How'd climbing. You get here? <laughs> How'd you get here? Question everybody has for everyone. Apparently, game wants me to go down. I assume. Well, why did the camera go down if it did not want me to go down? Maybe it expected me to, like, land here and then jump up. Or not. Was I not supposed to? Was I not supposed to get up there? Uh, that's actually a little bit confusing. Because I could climb that, but I couldn't drop down to this section. So I'm assuming that we weren't meant to jump up there? Okie doke. Whatever you say, game. Maybe there's a secret up there. And I've just Look, missed out on it. There it goes. Don't mind me, I'm taking hey, this. We get moving. Yep, good out. Oh, those are even uh yeah, Clone Wars style ships and battle mechs. And that is yet another voice that I recognize. Cal, use the manual override lever below. Uh, okay, I was wondering what the game wanted me to do. <laughs> Maybe it wants me to... Your turn. Okay, I have to click in the stick for All right, clamp secured. All right, I'm just wondering where it wants me to go because oh, maybe it just wants me to actually like this. Aha. Uh -huh. You okay? Still here? Not dead yet. Give me a fright there, pal. Done. Wondering, I got this. figuring out everything, the oddities. We're done. Get out up here. Kind of convenient that I came the way I did then. Come take a look at this. It's a Jedi fighter. Oh, what a, a Jedi sword. fire. The real scrap is payday. I mean, this thing's been here what four years? And nobody's uh, found it. I never flew this, but down on a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. Real tragedy. Yeah, I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Oh yeah, that's the, the yeah, story maybe. they spun. <laughs> uh, I guess it's just our lucky day. Empire's gonna get a lot of good material out of it. Yeah, here we are scrapping these ships from the war just so they can turn around and make new ones. It is amusing. <laughs> all of us risking our necks for the bosses. And the pay was better back during the Republic too. Hey, you really should watch what you say. Listen to me. There's a droid. Find a it's listening. Like this, be a ticket off this soggy rock. What makes you think I want out of here? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wants out of here. Young guy. <laughs> I you assume. don't end up like me. Stuck here forever. <laughs> Eventually, you gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. What if my destiny is to scrap ships? <laughs> ah, so is cutting going to begin? The doom. Whatever you say. Hey, we should get back down. You're not listening to me. Ah, catastrophic failures of doom. I gotta go, my boy is falling. I must follow my boy. Why is this cutting place, this wrecker yard, you okay? above a giant no. monster? I can't climb up. Don't. Rock. We barely know you. Please do not die. No, don't let go. I, I can't hold on. Rock. No. I use the force. Oh. You okay? 
and almost killed him some other way. Bye, droid man. Is this a freaking Sarlacc pit? Why is there a wrecker yard on a Sarlacc pit? Well, at least we landed. You all right? Yeah. Almost surprised that wasn't a quick time event. We gotta move. Come on. Hell exists in Star Wars. What was that back there? Was, it, was that you? I don't know. Or does he what, know? That, that was the Force, wasn't it? Just forget what you saw, okay? Please trust me. So he does I've know. Seen the, I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. Bro, Calm down. I know. I know. Calm down, friend. Luckily, luckily he seemed to be like, hey, why don't you take this finder fee and like get out of here and live your life so he won't sell us out. I trust Prof. But it is a little funny if it's just like, oh yeah, use uh, the shoulder button out of nowhere. Almost thought he died from how long it took it to activate. You holding up okay? Good. Yeah. You? Yeah. Kel. I've been working with you some time now. Hope you trust me. I've never seen you do anything like that before. <laughs> We've been through some hell together. <laughs> Second hell. There are two hells Son. in Star Wars. I know the risk that you took for me. I just... I don't know how to repay you. Don't mention it. <laughs> That's literally all you have to do. Well, me, don't, don't mention it. Don't worry about me. Well, I mean, you're kind of mentioning it here. This place? Not good for you. It's not safe. It's not safe for anybody. It's under the Empire rule, I think. Maybe what What time is it? Disappear. Is it, Just like, mid-Empire? Is it between, like, the Empire and the First Order? Where in like the, the timeline is this? Yeah. yeah. You won't be seeing me for a while, bro. Well, actually, I do know the one spoiler thing that's, like, meant to be a shock moment into a boss fight, at least I believe, so. Should be during the time of the Empire, so yeah, Jedi being hunted down. The fact that there was no cut is kind of funny. How long have I been asleep? You were asleep for 50 years on this train. Prop? Me? Why is that the default opening button? Kind of interesting that his head actually moves with me. Okay, one second. I gotta raise the, the brightness. I always raise the brightness compared to what they say. Wait this up. is much more interesting. Much more visually appealing to me. And where is... I could have sworn there was a guy there. Oh, we're in Vision Town! I knew that I, like, crossed a guy and he disappeared. Where are you going? Are you secretly a Jedi? But this is a Vision, so blah, blah, blah. What is going on? This is why we can't trust technology. Ah, hell! What are you, an R5? Oh boy. Interesting how it's being done. this entire thing. What the hell? Apprentice, mark well and listen. Jaro to Paul. Trust only in the Force. The literal, trust only the Force, says Batman as he slams me to the ground. 
trust Only stopped. the post. Yeah. Don't trust Something's the train. Going on. Ah. Stormtroopers. Identification ready. Do I have identification? Move out and line up. Probably just another contraband inspection. Am I gonna have to kill some stormtroopers? Ooh! Freaky deaky helmet people. Maybe they're the Jedi hunters. More freaky deaky. Ah, alien freaky deaky. So, uh, are we just gonna get executed? I think we might just get executed. Is this all a loop? Yes, second sister. Second sister? We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. Ah, the Fallen Order. Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. No, Prof, don't die. Turn yourself in, or everyone present shall face summary execution. I wonder how many times they've gotten this wrong. I think it's time someone came forward. He's gonna say he's the Jedi, isn't he? I, uh, I've been working on this heap a long time. Either or he could just sell us out. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Maybe he's buying us time, I then don't know. The Empire. Oh, no, he's gonna be turning and himself. Engineers became scrappers. Hopefully. Or not hopefully. I don't know. I like prop. It just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. I like how they're just letting him walk. To the Empire. We're all just expendable. Yes. You are. My friend. No! Didn't expect. Honestly, didn't expect uh, it to unfold like that, but man, Prof died way too fast. Uncle Ben lasted longer. I found the Jedi. Ninth sister. <laughs> And they just threw me into a train. Checking out the disturbance. Oh, that hurts. Uh, hold it. Don't move. Hello, Stormtrooper. How'd you get here? I fell through the roof. Easy now. Got a stowaway. Hey, you don't need to. I'll get you. You'll get me indeed. Ah. And we have slow and lightsaber attack. Wondering if I should change things because. Yeah, it's wonky. Hear that over the comm? Jedi? Stay sharp. They won't get past us. A traitor, blast them! A, a traitor, you uh, say? I got this. Do you? Ah. Contact confirmed. Shoot to kill. Just you and me, he says. I uh, you literally just opened it. Thank you, friend. I guess I destroyed it. Yeah. This is very interesting so far. Ah, we need to run along the Oh. I don't know why I have to hold it, but okay. I guess it's just so the player has greater control over the contextual things. It's normally you. I chose to rest instead. All right, That's so how I, I can. That's how you prepare for death. Rest with eyes over there. Oh. If you say so. Keep calm. Do you yourself. 
right, so kind of Sekiro up in here. Oh. Uh, I thought it was going to slow... I thought I was going to slow the big wheel. This is just a game teaching me things. I can't... I thought I was going to slow the big dealy. I just realized I have a force meter on the bottom. Now I can. Alright, handy. And interesting. And again, I'm sad that Prof just died so quickly. Again, Uncle Ben lasted longer. He wasn't even our Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh. I missed my assassination. But I did get a cool uh, animation out of it anyway. Oh, I need to... Do I need to cut it? No, I can't cut it. So I guess we... Where'd the game want me to go now? Ain't obviously not that way. It feels like it wants me to, like... I don't know. Alright, there we go. I don't know, you could have rusted it to make it look different. It looked like all the others. If anything, I thought that I would, uh... What is it? Crouch and go along the little side there that there was. No, no. Someone get him. Right. Ah, Whoa, just, there we go. Just gotta get the flow down. Oh, Can we? collateral. <laughs> Only mostly disappointed that there's no apparent uh, dismemberment in this game. It's like, this is Star Wars. That's the main thing. For dismemberment. And again, the boy Prof died so early. The front. Stop the train. More Prof later. Oh, no. oh yes. We gotta move in between first. Now. Now we can run. We have unlocked the run ability. Whoa! I th <laughs> it, it, it scared me with that second, like, oh, we're going to shoot the environment. Is it waiting for me? Faster. Oh, that's a blow up her. It did kind of look like a tank. <laughs> is that a reference to the Force Awakens, where the stormtrooper is like traitor? You shot the coupling out. Who needs coupling? Gotta get down. Oh yeah, blow also means that it won't be able to shoot me as easily. And now, bad, bad things just continue to happen. Uh, don't know what the game... Now the game wants me to go up. For a moment, I thought maybe it wanted me to go to, like, that door on the bottom, or at least it looks like a door on the bottom. The only way is up. Uh, and so is death. Everything is up. I was wondering where we were gonna go. That answers it. Hello and welcome to Uncharted in Space. Very action-packed uh, opening. I was, I was, I, I thought that was going to like lightning across and be like a platforming hazard. All right, who's helping me? Who are you? Literally, who are you? We're here to help. Who How do you know you? me? No time. Keep moving. We'll pick you up when we can. Yeah, we're too, going too fast for me to try and jump across. I assume. But yeah, okay. 
Uh, my best friend is dead. I'm, be I'm being hunted by, I guess, Jedi hunters. Hope there's no secret support this ship. Because I'm just going right on ahead. Or to assume up. I think I saw a sign. really is just Star Wars Sekiro. Goodbye, friend. In fact, you know what? Shoot me. I'll kill you, too. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That is the appropriate reaction when you are a stormtrooper going up against a Jedi. The train stop? Uh, I guess that was just for a visual cue. Almost made me want to jump. Transition to the cutscenes. It's always it seems to be jittery. Now this can't be good. Ah, bombing run. Whoa. I instinctively uh, jump out of fear. Yeah. Nice of the uh, doors to open. I'm almost fall. You are taking a while. You weren't even being shot at until right there. Yeah, there go your ribs. Take me with you, robot. It is me, your friend. Great. I am just so nonplussed by any of this. Going somewhere. I was trying to. Also, how have how have I been I'm hiding a lightsaber? Perhaps you've had some training after all. All this time. Who's your master, Padawan? Wouldn't you like to know? Even I don't Someone know. He looked like a Batman. Perhaps. What Jedi gave their life so that you might live? I don't know. I am very much not trained, I think. You believe all the others. Uh, I, I think that the answer is uh, no, because uh, lightsabers do not make bleed. Oh! Yeah, I, I saw the red. Here we go. Quick time of it. I think you blasted me more than her. I think I was doing decent. Then again, it's hard to tell with these games because they're like, and now we're gonna throw you um, a boss fight at you. Ah, oh, you didn't even deflect it. There you go. Rule number one don't actually shoot at people with lightsabers. Why do I have my lightsaber on? Well, ain't that inconvenient. So is this only a, a two-man ship? Again, why do I have my lightsaber on? 
Okay, shut that thing off and grab some seat. And they just instantly trust me. Thanks for the help. But who are you people? We are people. My name is Sir Junda. And this is my captain, Grease Dritus. How you doing? How you yeah, doing? This is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? Cal. Kestis. Who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you ah, know so, so the ultimate uh, yonder. Why you help me? We track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Braca. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? That means that well, they were on to me for a while. These days anyway. That's gratitude for you. Look, I get it. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to I trust I literally anyone. lost the last person I trusted. And it's what's kept you alive. Me. But this is about something bigger than just surviving. Like what? Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. Well, that's not gonna happen. Because this has during the Empire Age. Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? The Jedi Council? They're gone. Yeah, so how, what are we actually going to do? So I'm all you've got. Captain, set a course for Bagano. In the meantime, try and relax. Kind of hard to do that. Go, you're My safe. basic life got upended, my friend is For dead, now. and now I'm hunted by Jedi hunters. You gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Dude, you've, you've been dead for like 10 minutes. You were talking in your sleep. Weirdo. Well, that's gratitude for you. Seriously, what is that line? Weirdo, you talk in your sleep. Like nobody else ever does. I unlocked the Mantis achievement. And the game just says, no, you do not get to mess with things. Decently looking ship, I guess. Has plants. Just play the the instrument. What is it? A cyber guitar? I like how they kind of cut away from this instrument itself so they don't have to animate the specific notes. That's all. I wrote it. Years really? ago. You touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. I Not never heard that, but interesting. That how would you know that? I was once a Jedi. Really? But not anymore. Do I know you? No. But I knew your master. At least that gives General you some DePaul. legitimacy. He was a true guardian of the Republic. He was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. And what was that? I survived, but... My connection to the Force is damaged. How do you when even I do meditate, that? If I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... Ah, when that's called a trauma. <laughs> that is what that is called. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We'll come up on our destination. Ah, 
the Doctor Who warp. Bagano. Nice classic Star Wars wipe. Transition. This is Bagano. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the Purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists. No. Very convenient. So? This place is being wiped plan? off the map uh, as a... Here? At some point. I just know it. Cow. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. So Since you you're not me. a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. How, I know. You and how even are you me. not a Jedi anymore? And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy and a common cause. You just feel like you can't do it anymore? I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. And who's that? May the Force be with you. Classic Star Wars music in the background. I guess I'm looking for a Jedi then. But if there's already one here, why does Seer need me? Yeah. We got a skill point. We have a customization. Interesting. Now you can stay original. I guess we'll learn how to dibbity da things later. You're not gonna be a Yoda, are you? Well, there's a bunch of them, so who knows? Playing the quirky music. This looks like a safe place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. Oh. Is that what this is? Oh, it's a save point. Save points are located throughout Cal's journey. Make sure to interact with them to save your progress. Save points are where Cal can rest and spend skill points to acquire new skills. So that's what that is. Alright, show me the skill tree. Overhead slash. I use the the force to unlock uh, lightsaber techniques. Ah, so there is beheading in this game, but only on monsters it seems. So that's a heavy strike. I have no more. Maximum force, maximum life. Very interesting. I wonder what rest is. Ah. Enemies respawn, so this is this is a uh, Dark Souls-like in that regard with a leveling system, though. Robot, is it you who I've come to see? Hey, BD-1. I'm Cal. BD-1, how do we know his name? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I guess maybe I just I'm know his. Searching for a, a Jedi. Like... I robo think. designation hold on you know the jedi what do you know wait hold on did you just slice that thanks okay, we'll follow the little robo dude that's a little sudden again i don't know how we got his name but hey that's the vault seer mentioned whoever i'm supposed to find must be waiting there Ooh, you give me a map Thank you, Robo Dude. Ooh, is there a. Ooh, there's a drop down back there, it seems. Can I uh, get out of it? Yeah, I can see. Diddly D. Let me leave. Let me leave! Game will not. <laughs> oh, so now you let me leave. You do not need to lock the player out of uh, 
being able to control, like, when they leave a menu. I feel like that's a little bit of overkill. If you ask me. Silence, creatures. I'm here to murder. Whatever's down here. I go in the cave. Dark Vader comes out and kicks my ass. Oh, hey there, little guy. Interesting. I should be able to. Oh, I can't. The fuck are you? All right, demon. I'm guessing I need force push for that. All right, so this is a come back when you have the skill zone. I forgot that we can rock. Is it just me or is this game graphically odd in some places? Could be my settings, could be my drivers, could be many things. Technology, don't you love it? Now let's... Apparently he's too busy to... Show me the way, unless I can access it from here. Nah, so I can only do it there. Ah, and a heal. But we can't customize the boy just yet. Can destroy things over here. So it's something where? In the pit. Yeah, there do seem to be monsters. That's a really big bug. I tell you. Aha, double kill. Guess we can go down here. Level design. Motherfucker. I forgot that I have the overhead now. I need to use that more. Let me sense your echo, creature of dead. It was after boggling eggs in the pack pot back. Really? A dead splocks killed by boglings when it attempted to raid the nest. Through a rare ability known as psychometry, Cal can receive information from the force when he touches certain items. Oh, yes, yeah, you're so busy, cannot show me a map. I, I don't like it when my mini map ability, well, not mini map, but my map ability no is incapable Guess that's why BD1 of being warned. used. All right, maybe I'll listen to you next time. He's busy, you <laughs> cannot use it. Then why show me the ability to use it? Also, I'm just very much not a fan of, uh, oh, sorry, you can only do this at specific times. If you give me map, let me use map. Hmm, nope, that one is too far away. I'll probably get a dash or something I'll be able to do later. Any ideas? Gotta get across this gap somehow. Ooh, a zip line. A zip line? Whoa! How handy. How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? <laughs> How'd you know that would work? He didn't know. Just go ahead and rest because why not? The enemies that we've killed aren't exactly in a place. Again, why? I want to explore. I hear you, but there's something over here I want to explore. <clears throat> I want to explore all that there is. The 
gone. Pillars. Interesting. I wonder if you destroy enough of them if the cave will just fall in. That thing looks like it smells worse than Grease does. What's in the middle of that? All right. Don't like that it kind of homes, so it's a last minute thing. Kind of annoying that they're like, oh, how dare you go explore? Don't like games like that. <laughs> Especially when they haven't really given us a good, hey, here's a dodge tutorial all that much. Well, screw you. Now I want to go fight that thing for eternity game. And again, why? Why do that? Why have enemy that does major damage using a thing that we've rarely come up against? We haven't had the opportunity to test out our dodging skills all that much. So little mean to throw a boss like that. doesn't feel nice to use right now, is what I'm feeling. Parry does not feel nice to use, because it feels like I'm pressing it and the game is just like, oh no, you don't get to do it. Which again, if you're going to have something like this, evil boss man, that you can run into early on, that does a lot of damage, you kind of need solid gameplay right off the bat, and it's still good gameplay, but it feels like they're overestimating the awesomeness of their system a little bit. Ever so slightly. Once again, it did the thing. Here we go. Right? Maybe it's just very specific. If the game would stop slowing down, because just like, oh, your force thing. I don't even know what that means. I wasn't using force. Is it just my stamina in general? And then it slowed down, and that got me killed. Again, don't put something like this in your game unless you're going to commit and have it function. I fought the boss three times now, very mean of the game, to be like, oh yeah, and here's more new stuff. Why? I fought it three times, why are you throwing slowdown tutorials at me? It's almost like if you want to have tutorial stuff, have a good flowing tutorial, and then throw the exploration at us. And also... All right, that's that's actually bullshit that the boss is capable of doing wind-up attacks, but it doesn't glow because, ooh, you need to hit it first. That is bad design. <laughs> Why have, ooh, warning, if the warning can be covered up. And no, I'm going to keep doing this because fuck you, game. This is stupid. Why have exploration if you punish exploration? I just wanted to explore. And then the game is just like, oh, we're gonna punish that. To which I ask, why? Is it because you've uh, bit off the Dark Souls? And you're like, oh, Dark Souls, what you do? We need to. I hate that it turns like that. Okay, okay, bullshit. I hate that. 
I feel like it activates too soon, the red warning dodge thing. Especially if it tracks. If it tracks, it should glow when the attack is going to happen. Not five million years before. Yeah, so far, I'm not feeling the bonus. Ooh, you can explore and fight this boss. I feel like this should just not exist if this is how the game functions. It just feels kind of dumb right now. That is what it feels like, but it takes just enough damage. But the wind-up is stupid. I hate the wind-up. Dang it. it. I hate that warning system. Honestly, the warning system is bad because it is happening way before the attack comes and the attack homes ever so slightly. I honestly feel like I would do better if there wasn't a warning. Because it's like, ooh, warning, and that kicks in my ah, so I need to dodge. Mentality. But the dodge system is either crap or the warning system is crap. Something is crap there. Warning only works if it, like, fits the flow of combat and just doesn't feel like it flows. And again, because it homes, and I just dislike that. That is way too fast recovery for a charge-up attack game. Oh, goody. Has a combo. I hate the delay on that so much! I hate it so much. Why design something like that? It is unfun. I'm gonna punch you in ten years, Billy, and this is your only warning. That is what it feels like. Why? Why have a warning if it isn't even a warning? One if by land, two if by sea, three if I'm gonna do it ten years from now. Just why? Again, it feels like it should wind up animation and then do the bliggity blig once it's about to actually come your way so that your dodge is actually well-timed. How the also, the parrying is annoying. <laughs> I hate that so much. <laughs> and again, it just feels so wonky, and they just should not have a boss here if they haven't done finished teaching the player how to play the game yet. Because the controls just feel oh so slightly off from how I expect them to be. And I might be able to get used to them if the game would actually give that to me. Oh, well, you can just avoid this boss. No, I can't. This isn't Tree Sentinel. This isn't Tree Sentinel at all from, like, Elden Ring. Tree Sentinel and Elden Ring is a nice, oh, hey, here's a boss early on that you can throw yourself against if you want to, but it's highly advised that you don't. This is, ooh, we have one, you're at a fork in a path. One leads to a boss and one leads to the way we want you to go. And you, you cannot defend this if you've made bad mistakes here, game. I hate you so fucking much. The parry system. I hate that one. It has way too much wind-up. Way too much for the warning. Do wind-up animation, then blinkity-blink. For God's sakes. I also am so far, especially when, mainly when it comes to this stupid bonus optional boss that isn't actually optional because they put it on the fucking forked path. So obviously you're going to go do it. And it steals your goddamn experience. If it was the first enemy you run into, maybe. But it stole my experience. 
that I killed those other enemies for, which is bullshit. Now I have to kill it. But this is just a terrible, like, ooh, first actual boss. I hate the wind-up on that so much! And I'm beginning to hate the parrying too, at least when it comes to this boss. This is why you don't add a bonus optional boss unless you actually commit to it and make it work. Because it's making me not like the gameplay. Because they haven't truly described how the parrying works. Is it a, oh, you tap it once? Or is it more like Sekiro, where you can like tap it multiple times? But because they throw it against a boss early on that does a ton of damage, it's hard to get your bearings. Why add this? <laughs> I truly do think that this is just ever so slightly badly designed. It could work if a few things were tweaked. All right. Once again, why does, ooh, blinky blink attack get so much? Oh, that's so stupid. I do not like that attack at all. I genuinely think that is a terribly designed attack. What, I dodged game. They really should not have put this enemy in here. Teach the player the more intricate parts of the system, then throw this in. Why have punishment for exploration this early? Oh, well, you can come. No, you can't come back later. It took my experience. You cannot design all this like this. Game. Because, again, when it has a wind-up attack, maybe they... I was going to say, ooh, maybe for the tongue, they expect you to dodge to the side and attack the tongue. Uh, except I did dodge to the side and it still hit me. Mm. It's just very much bothersome right now. And again, stole my experience. Don't know how that hit. Miss! Quit opening up the things in combat game. Actually have tutorial? If Cal runs low on block stamina, he will be temporarily stunned and vulnerable. Yeah, the parrying is such a weird mechanic. The parrying feels off. At least against this motherfucker. I don't know what this is. Oh, because we haven't got the guy yet, which again begs question. Why have branching path before you let game have branching path? If you are not ready for the player to do this, don't have it! was killed. Is it trying to defend its family? So yeah, this more than likely needs the dude. Our robo-buddy. But he's not ready for us because it's still in tutorial mode. To which I again say, if you are in tutorial mode, why have optional branching path boss fight? Don't do that. If you are not finished with the tutorial... Uh, don't branch paths unless it is oh hoo hee ha 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 yes uh, small diddly d like it's a dead end you killed some enemies you don't have a full boss thingy and then punish the player for going after the boss thingy that is dumb genuinely 
because quite literally the game was not expecting me to do that, so why have it be an option? Oh well, because Dark Souls probably. This is a video game. Careful over there. In which the player safe. is nine times out of ten like back at the scrapyard. Expected to like try and find like secrets and optional thingies. Yeah, the parrying is a little off, but I'm getting it now. I am beginning to understand the parrying. Would have been nice if the game didn't have a fake branching path boss fight. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. I'm gonna call it a fake branching path boss fight because there's a box in there that I cannot activate because a game did not expect me to actually go through and beat it. Which is bullshit. That was pretty brave. You okay? His Wait, leg. I can help you with that. Will you let me? Oh. <laughs> okay. You're an adorable little critter. Well, your scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. My magical, behind-my-body soldering job. Okay, try that. It even fixed the... What is it? The burn marks it had. The At least vault. I think it was a burn mark. Yeah, that's where I was headed, too. Okay, well, first we've got to figure out a way out of this place. Ooh, customized lightsaber time. Let's see what we can do. I can choose color. Crap, premium content. I'll keep it blue. Hmm. Kind of double guard, one guard. I might like to look at that. Maybe that. Material. I kind of like that. Very nice that you, they have like an in-depth uh, customization system for the lightsaber. Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. <laughs> tight fit, but this should work. Yeah, I, I, I still just don't understand. Wait, there was an examine. There was an examine. Those vines look like they lead somewhere. Hope they're sturdy. Ah, that's what that was. It was a hint. Yes, game, I know. I just do not require it. Who lived here before? But there's a bed and everything exists. It almost feels like the place where you could like... Well, it, well, that's dumb. We're gonna have a climbing section, and then we're gonna put something in the way of the climbing section. Brilliant. Bunch of junk. It was the only way. Yeah, I'm all right. I just had to attack the electricity. Huh? Ah, so heal time. Uh, healing stem. Ah, the, I was wondering why the, like, diddly D to the left of my health bar showed up. I was like, oh! That's better. Thanks, it's a, little droid. It's a health stem count. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, uh... Okay. <laughs> Here, Come along with me. Don't know how it's like grabbing on. So, how'd you get here? Don't Multiple remember? entries. Chapter one. 
Cal Kestis, a former Jedi Padawan, has been hiding out on Baraka since Order 66. Cal joined a scrapping crew and lived in hiding for years, but blew his cover when he used the Force to save his friend Prof from a deadly fall. This prompted the ruthless Second and Ninth Sisters to attack him. Cal was narrowly saved by two mysterious individuals. I'm going to assume Sarah? I assume? I assume that's a, a soft C. Junda and Grease Dritas. I don't know. These are fantasy names. Who knows how they actually pronounced? Now they find themselves on the remote planet Bogano. Bogano? I remember. I know they already said that one, but my brain says Bogano. I think. Bogo. This is Planet Bogo. Ready to discover the secrets of an ancient vault. So just lots of things. And oh, now we can. Customize the boy if we want to, we'll keep it normal. I've never known a forgetful droid. Can't argue with that. Oh, sure, let's cut that. Ah, so we can swing. New pathway, shortcut unlocked. Hey, a chest. Think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? That depends on the Jedi. Where are you going? You stealing the stuff for me. Find something, BD1? New emitter acquired. Eno Cordova. <laughs> you can change lightsaber parts at workbenches throughout the galaxy. Oh, that's not... It's not... It's a shortcut back. Yeah, that is... It did say shortcut, but my brain was like, Oh, rope, we swing. No. It is literally just, hey. And uh, because of the way we got in. That's where we need to go. I can feel it. Interesting. Enemies to kill. Rude. Be gone, bug man. And now we can actually access the diddly dee. Ah, so it says that there is secrets in that room. Huh. I already know where the other chest is. Because the game is mean. 30% explored. That almost makes me want to go back down there. I want... Ah, but it does say blocked, so... I wonder. I wonder if red is only for blocked, and it's like, ooh, you can't do that yet. More than likely, I'm going to hedge on the side of the game not being a complete dick. And I'm going to assume that right now, those areas are locked off. And that that is not a, ooh... Would you like secret? Hmm, I'm wondering if I can just jump back down there. This feels like a jump back down. Because I'm getting that other goddamn chest. And I swear if the goddamn thing has revived, I will be exceedingly angry. It said that it, it did the whole Dark Souls, you have slain the monster, diddly dee, with its name and everything. So I'm going to assume that it is dead dead, and I just want the chest. Now that I have healing, at least it wouldn't be terrible. As, I, as well as the fact that I have gotten better, but nope, it is dead dead. Unless it just fell from the sky. You, slice this? you fought? Ah, Stomp Link must be repaired to, to operate rat? this device. Pretty brave. Moving out. Interesting, but then, uh, once again, I must question, why give opportunity to access like content if I cannot access the content? I just, I don't, I don't understand that oddity. You thought you could do thing, but you can't actually. Ah, my favorite. Either, like, say yes or no. What is 
this place. Then again, this is probably yet another come back later type thing, so I should probably just come back later. But at the same time, again, why have extra things if the game doesn't want me to do the things? Just forever bothered by that. So yeah. So far, base gameplay alright. When you add in the, ooh, we have to be like other games feeling that I'm getting from these, ever so slightly bothersome and bad. If you don't want to do, like, secret stuff... Oh. Things? I'll check it out. Interesting. Bog rats and splocks. Generally a hyper-aggressive territorial species, bog rats gradually reform mutualistic relationships with splocks. Splocks will disturb boggly nests, luring them to the surface to be ambushed and eaten by a bog rat. Once the adult boglings are out of the way, splocks burrow into their nests and devour the eggs. Interesting. Oh, well, since I'm here, might as well check out that other lightsaber thing that I've accomplished, that I got. It's not a color. Yeah, it was an emitter. Kind of a weird emitter. But yeah, I, I honestly feel that they could just have cut out the, like, secondary paths. And this would be, like, much better. So yeah, definitely gives the vibe of a, you can come back later. But yeah, so far, <laughs> my thoughts are, they really should just have had a straightforward tutorial level. Considering that is literally just what they wanted to make. Or at least expected the players... Oh, I forgot there was a shortcut. Granted, it's a very short shortcut, all things considered. But yeah, if they don't want the player to explore that much... Why have all the exploration things? At least at, at this point. Okay, I'll look. You mapped everywhere we've been. Yeah, blocked available. Certain paths will be inaccessible until he possesses the right abilities. Ah, we can go up and down from things. Neat. I can't make it over there. Yeah, we gotta so we find have, another way. We have to go down. I shall just drop. Very rude. Granted, that's probably why you climb down. Open for me, my boy. Come back here. Oh, something was in there. New poncho material. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, so far, I'm mainly just getting a just bits of annoyance at the branching but not this tool was used so by far. someone eager to reach the vault traveling to the vault ah so we just learn things about a researcher that lived here i guess but yeah it just feels like don't know why it gave me the tutorial thing twice. You, you've already given me, like, three of these. 
don't really know why you need more. Let's see. Empowered slow. Superior blocking. Defenses are improved, allowing them to take less block damage from incoming attacks. Yeah, I can't get these until I get the prerequisites, but I just kind of want to look around. Ooh, a sprint strike. Evasive kick. Dash strike. So if, ah, if I hold, I can attack. Cal dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over target instead. Interesting. Could get health, which then will give me superior blocking. I think I'll go for health right now. Yeah, because so far if the game was like treated this more like a tutorial level and then it showed me the like explorable overworld afterwards, this would be much more enjoyable up to this point. My main annoyance. Eh. Oh, hey, it's this bastard again. Run for it. Screw it. You die today. is much less aggressive compared to the one that we fought. Be gone. Notice my skills. Oh, scan. Okay, I'll look. Why did it do jazz hands? I'm looking. Ah, the bastard. Sever the tongue with a combination of force and lightsaber attacks. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> Maybe if it wasn't so mean. The game's like, run for it! Screw you, I've already killed one of these things. And that one was easier. facing an inaccessible thing. And apparently that's the way it wants me to go. I see you. Huh? Go ahead and scan us. We at least get information. Can't get it to work. And then the bodies disappeared. probably another because I, I remember seeing that uh wall run in like the first trailer for this game so once again this is a comeback later moment i shall go ahead and save here but we will not revive the things because no they shall remain dead Looking to see if there's like a way back up. So the game want me to go down. The game does seem to want me to go down, so we will go down. <laughs> I win. My win. Up. Uh, nope. Looks like. Too late. Too early. Too early late. Yeah, this is... Once again, I have to ask, why are you combining the tutorial and... Oh. 
How dare you run away but not. But yeah, I'm just ever so slightly getting annoyed at how they're trying to tie in the, ooh, lots of, like, things to come back later and do. With the beginning of the game, diddly dees. New terrarium seed. Go ahead and scan. Scan everything. Parafish. Parafish inhabit large bodies of water, feeding primarily on small algae fragments and other plants. Ba -ba -ba. Interesting. But yeah, I'm just, just getting annoyed at the beginning design. Where the, yes, it does have that, ooh, you get to come back later and do things, but... Like, you have to also, like, allow the player to actually do things. I don't like, like, the snoring noise. Snoring noise that's going on in the background. Zaur. Zaur. They thrive in rocky, windy habitats where their low resistance and adhesive grip provide fast and agile traversal. See something in there? Again, this. What's that? What's in the crack? Oh, that's a thing, isn't it? Oh, are we gonna learn wall running? Oh, hello, oh, yeah. Batman. It's difficult, Master. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will. I also know this voice. Obstacle. You will master any path. Do what you must to reach me. Run and jump towards ridged walls. Faster, more intensity. Now, reach my position. I now have the wall run. Resistance and the force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. I still don't like the snoring that's going on. Think you can show me that shortcut again? See, now this works a bit better because we literally learned the thing right here. Right next to it. Do we get it? This area was used for meditation by someone familiar with the Jedi Order. See, that makes a lot more sense. To, like, have that. This makes so much more sense, like, uh, level design-wise. Compared to how they were doing things before with the branching paths. Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. Frustration. Show me that skill tree. We could get enhanced blocking right off the bat. But that only happened against an annoying boss, so I don't know. Hmm. Do we want more force? Because I'm not sure how, like, robust the force powers will be in this game. 
Uh, let's get that. Not what I expected it to be, but neat. But yeah, this area, much better designed. There is, like, a place above. But that's but the the well designed part comes from the fact that it leads you in and then you come back here immediately. So yeah, more than likely that area is like a force power I need to learn. See, I knew that we would be Turning to this once we got the wall run. Very nice. Hey! Why are you so surprised at this point? What's that be one? New lightsaber switch. Valor in wisdom. And I guess we jump here. Another shortcut. Triple kill! Go ahead and scan these poor fools. Thanks, BD1. Nice. It seems that there's a slight... I keep hearing this. Alright, either that's just the head. Where the fuck do those teeth go? What are you? Someone may camp here. They were excited to discover a giant creature that lives close by. A Vinog, they called it. Granted, I'm the monster that's going about killing just the everyday creatures, but hey. They deserve to fear me. Will the Vinog be a monster? That is the question. I do not fear you, little bug man. Now that I have homing powers. And I still need a scoffling. Did you find something, BD1? New lightsaber sleeve. Valor and wisdom. Well doesn't seem like something that we'd have to fight. That creature seems so at home here. The Binog. The Binog is an enormous amphimammalian creature found only on Bogano. Bogo. They can live for thousands of years, only breeding once per lifetime. Due to their scarcity of offspring, very few bing uh, Binogs are left in the Protector galaxy. Protector of Pagana. Hm. I thought that was you. Very interesting. I assume that I can, like, uh... Hmm. I wonder what the overall overall for this is. Maybe I come from there, or I go there, but that is obviously a later thing. Well, let's go. Hiya! Hiya! Waha! Turn me into Wario for a second. Tracy there? Oh, it's on! But there's things back here, maybe. Mm, 
once again, probably a comeback afterwards thing. My exploration. But the game does not want me to explore. At least that's what it feels like. It's all come back later. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Probably. Let's go ahead and heal, I guess. As well as save, because why not? And I guess we'll interact. The purple scars are probably like, hey, learn new ability. Or I guess relearn, I guess, to a degree. Relearn ability. Or just open door. Why does it look like a mouth? Davalt. Descriptions. Ah, lost civilization. Uh, I guess it's going into the vault. Well, that's physically impossible, because... Amazing. Ah, uh, we could chalk it up to source fuckery. Yeah, what is that manhole cover in the middle? Scanning again? What evils is it? What evil it be? You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. Cordova. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. Kill God. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. Well, too late for that. It's all dead. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Zepho. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young force sensitives throughout the galaxy. I have you so this will find literally in is chamber of go the rebuild. Plan. Also another test. Oh, I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. I think I have an idea. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. Technically, Padawan. And may the Force be with you. I have a feeling that that holocron. Unless you were the someone I was supposed to meet. The, that holocron of force sensitives throughout the galaxy. I think that was found, and uh, the Jedi hunters were then made. No, I've been alone for a while now, without any purpose, just hiding. No way to live. Wait, I just I just feel like we're I'm not gonna Jedi. get that holocron or that holocron has is no longer useful. Maybe Seer was right. Seer. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You wanna meet some uh friends? Friends of mine. A long time ago. I was wondering why I was getting on my back. Hmm. There's a new place of interest. Probably to get back. Oh yeah, now we can do that too.
But yeah, that that holocron, we're not getting that holocron. It's already been used for evil or something. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds hey. like you did. We'll be waiting. Oh, hey, this bastard again. Dang it. Take that. Monster. Whoa! You have new moves. Probably because you have fruit. Dang it. You also don't do as much damage as the boss ring. Seriously. You are much more easy to kill. And, uh, and again, this also goes forth that they really should have not let you explore as much until you got to this point. Because those guys are obviously meant to teach you how to fight them. In a more open area. And then you can go fight the harder version. Why have it be available from the start? Is my question. Is this a skele skeleton of the big guy? His kind. I'm looking. Mysterious skeleton. I think it's a binog. The structure of these bones is just a large reptilian creature. Well, nope. Because that guy's an amphimamillion. An analysis of elements within these bones dates them as old as a thousand years ago. But maybe... No. Because those are long-lived creatures. So they probably wouldn't evolve as much. Maybe. I don't know. But I wonder what's down here. It's a door. It's locked. How dare they have a locked door. Don't they know who I am? What? Is that the Death Star? A thousand years early. Ah, My friend, triggered a memory. It appears the Sefo had some interest in death up here. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Wonder why? Why is it dark? We just don't discover all these very things. What's this? Probably a faded, yeah, faded mural. That's what I thought. Ah, so that's what opened up there. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. And like, I could try and like go and do the things, but I don't know. I don't trust the game right now. The game could lie to me again. <laughs> Maybe there's a thing in there, but I don't know. We can't trust the game. The game is not something to be trusted, but we will try going like uh, that away. Not that away, but like. Away. Some way. I think that's where we fought the the big dude and killed him. Interesting. Can I kick the, the vine in so I can come back faster? I'm just trying to... Do, do, do. So, yeah, we just slide down and then go to the right. Let's go this way. Ah, so that, yeah, comp link. But still, we don't need to use that. I just want to see if we can use the wall jump runny thing. Yeah, to get there. Discover more secrets. Unveil me your secrets. We 
have reached new area. Whether that is... Oh, hey, it's the top of this place. Or that place. <clears throat> On the other side of the, the, the big guy. He looks peaceful. If we ever get a... I don't think we're going to get a dash. But that also means we could kill them if I wanted. Ooh, a Binog mural. Hmm. Is it a cave? Oh no, that's the way we came. The, the normal way. Does the grass wall go all the way down? Uh, I think that it does. But this definitely feels like a you lack the the force to do it. But there's a box. But it, I probably don't have the scop link to use it anyway. So we're going to do a presumably dumb. We're going to jump down there and kill these bastards. Because I think we can actually open that chest. We. Oh, double kill. <laughs> ah, so the dash does have limited range. Good to know. Scan Scanning the big again? mural. I'll check it out. Binog mural, an ancient Zepho depiction of the Binog. Cordova hypothesized the mystery, uh, the presence of the Binog was a key factor in choosing Bagano for the vault due to the importance of Zepho art. Give me the majesty. Hey. What is it? New outfit. Can't really see it with the poncho. And uh, hardly seems different to me. But hey, what do I know? I think we're meant to drop down here. I'll just ignore the big toad man and just uh, continue on our way of going the way we probably should have. Again, this is probably a big ol' big ol' come back later place. It's not my fault the game gave me the ability to come back here right now. How dare you try to kill me before I could kill you. That is a sin in at least three countries. wrong way. Now we'll just go this way again. Go the right way, presumably. I wonder if the, the big toad guy up here respawns if you do the respawn of the like meditation places. I could see a yes or a no being either answer. Requires two skill points for that. Why? That is my question. Why? <laughs> I guess we will save our points then for now. And 
up we shall go. Now back to the ship we shall go. While avoiding the holes. Is that what that boss was actually about? It was less about, oh, you get to find it, and more like, oh, uh, the player fell in. I feel like that was the intended way of things going. Hey, BD-1. What, did you see something you wanted to scan? Oh? Nice job. I found a robot. You passed the test. Not much of a so test. You know about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patrolling me? How much oil could he Not even hold? Really. He's oh, a tiny robot. I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide A holocron. Inside? A holocron from the archives. Contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. Again. I knew it. I just know. Oh, Cordova, you old fool. Just you know that. that. Yes. That's already been used. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. How convenient. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Through the power I, I of the Force. You just have... You have a holocron. Interesting. Use the force. The cosmic cube can do anything. This is Either that or the lament configuration. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic... Hey, Obi-Wan! With that list of force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it. Well, except the holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. <laughs> Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? That is important information. I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. You can just do that? But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. Not wrong. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Well, I mean, you brought me That's here, you got me a robot friend. It's your choice. Multiple entries. Rebuilding the Jedi Order. After revealing she's no longer using the Force, Sarah. I, for I already forget how to say her name. Sarah? Eh. Sent Cal to an ancient vault among the way. Along the way, not among the way. Among the way would be a weird phrase. Along the way, Cal found a friendly droid named BD-1, who joined his quest. On their journey, Cal reached out in the Force, remembering his ability to wall run. Inside the vault, BD projected a message from Master Eno Cordova. So yeah, it's just... Oh. Interesting that it says select, and it kind of trails off at the end, so I thought I could select to get more, but no. The answer is no. Just let me know when you want to go. Let's talk. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes. But instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, 
I remembered something about myself before the purge. Wall running. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the Force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay. I'll keep trying. And apparently, yeah, we have three planets available. This planet, Dothamir. But I think that we shall stop here because we've been going for... Hey, Grease, what's this thing? Oh, well, let's what? do this first. You've never seen a terrarium before? No. Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy, <laughs> but you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. <laughs> when it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarn glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Interesting. Hauling me around the galaxy, you know, to one planet. But yeah, I think we shall end things here. Maybe go to one... We'll quickly head to a planet. Too, kid. Main objective. And player, so we have... Ah, so Dothamir seems to be the optional planet. It seems. In fact, it seems to be the same size as this place, which has a lot of chests and secrets that I can't access yet. But at the same time, that also might imply that... That might have things I can't access because I need to learn them. Hmm. That's my one dislike of uh, games. They're like, ooh, you get to learn things and go back because then I'll go down an optional path and they're like, oh, actually, you're uh, supposed to come back later. So... Hmm. I guess we'll quickly go to Zepho. Just get that, like, opening cutscene out of the way and then we'll end. Oh, we can actually search for ancient tombs. So I guess it's like, do you actually want to go here? Is that what it is? Oh, you can view the planet. So, oh, interesting. You can go and view a planet's diddly -dee. Interesting. That's nice. Well, let's go travel to Zepho. Must be hard watching all your friends get gunned down. I mean, you know, purged or whatever. What? It helps to talk about it, right? No? Yes, kind of. <laughs> it was difficult. But you must hope, not forget. We must remember the mistakes of the past and change things going forward to make sure they never happen again. Sounds like you're not too sure everything is going to work out. I'm not. That's I like that we can actually walk around the ship while this is going Whether on. It's a course of action or an idea. We all have to be ready to change. Very interesting. If it'll Get be over here, kid, we're about to land. I thought I was going to sit down eventually. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about How can peace wind in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle. I do not know. Especially super there. technology like all this. That. Into the storm we go. Granted, how would Cordova even know that the storm was continuing all these years later? Oh. Couple bubs ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Don't you talk Since to BD1 that way? BD1 is little great. Tricky. It doesn't even look like there's that much wind. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we even have seat belts on this thing? Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's going to take me a minute to get them back up. I mean, you didn't even I'll calm... Well, I, you, you calmed me once while Good. on the planet. 
I'll be in touch. Be able to last Once one. Crack this. Bogano. Cal, over here. You did good work on Bogano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. I thought you were still working on the... On the diddly D, the comms, but I guess not. I'm going to guess that this is a... Oh, we can meditate in here. Or customize our lightsaber. No new colors. We already checked that one out. Sure, why not? Valor and wisdom. And we'll keep it blue. And we will quickly save on the ship. But so far, the game is promising. I think that the opening world is a little wonkily designed overall. Primarily in the fact that there's like, ooh, you can go and to do exploration, but we're going to kind of punish you for exploration. That's a little silly. I feel like it should have been a little bit more, like, confined. If I can't, like, do certain things, or if you're, like, going to teach me how to deal with things, maybe don't allow the player to go off on the path unless you're going to really open up at the beginning. <laughs> it's just extra funny that it feels like it's a little trying to, it's overcomplicating itself a little bit, at least with the start of that one planet, the tutorial planet. So yeah, more than likely, as things go on, things will be getting better because uh, granted, we're dealing with secrets in a kind of 3D Metroidvania, so we're probably still going to run into annoying, ah, you went an optional way, we're going to punish that. But not to the same extent as that beginning bit, where literally, one of the first things you can run into is an optional boss who does a lot more damage than his non-boss counterparts in a confined area with wonky timings. It, it, it just felt a little odd is what I'm saying. And I still think that the timing on the charge is poorly designed, but eh, what do I know? In the end so far, it feels a little fast and like a wonky, like wonky in terms of story pacing. I will say that. But so far the characters don't seem unlikable. Maybe the, the captain is a, a little too much in terms of, ah ha ha, he has personality quirks, la ha ha. But, nothing to hate so far. I'm still kind of sad that Prof just up and died. It almost feels like so unceremonious how he died. But we will get to it eventually, I suppose. But, yeah, so far. Decent, some wonky design decisions here or there, but it seems to be getting better, and uh, hopefully I'll get to learn the controls for combat and such, and it'll be a nice fun time. I just think that the beginning level design of the first major level was a bit wonky, and yet it. But yes. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I do a variety of things. I try to draw, I try to write, I'm still trying to get rev up my main edited content YouTube channel once again. You can find all of that at my link tree, which should be in the general, like, ah, about me text box description areas of YouTube and Twitch. It's like link dot... I forget, it's like link tr.ee slash neon icy wings, I do believe. It's wonk. Everything is wonky. The world is wonky. The world is dying. But yes, 
Thank you very much for, very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.